you please uh, introduce yourself and Tianpei Company? I'm Lin William Tian. I'm the CEO and founder of Tianpei. We started back in uh, a company that we actually uh, acqu uh, uh, started acquired back in 2011. But actually, we come into this uh, fintech blockchain business back in 2015. And this is how we started. And initially, we actually uh, designed up the whole uh, ecosystem and uh, having a lot of uh, setup that we always had was on the drawing board was the intent to have uh, a mobile wallet payment system uh, that is global and then we have an exchange that we actually be able to uh, uh, do the uh, settlements and then the last component is to meet the tools that required in the settlement. This was done uh, in the planning stage back in 15. So in order to achieve that, the first component was to set up a country agency around the world that is including Hong Kong, China, Australia, US, London, and uh, uh, Cambodia, Korea, and uh, Japan. So that was a piece of paper. So as of uh, 2018, uh, first quarter, I'm very glad to say that we already covered four and four countries and another four countries are in the, in the stage of closing off and not only we are trying to actually start up as a partnership with them but in fact we actually gain the confidence by them investing in us. What are the ideas behind launching Tempe Mobile Wallet app? So initially when we uh, do this uh, mobile wallet app we found the uh, first initial problem was the uh, cash or they call it fiat in the new, uh, new terminology in this uh, crypto uh, world. Uh, this is actually very expensive and the biggest problem we face is KYC AML. So we have also initially started with MSO uh, which is money uh, service operator and also even in the MTL in the US but we find a lot of obstacles. So what we have done is over just in the span of less than a year we actually developed into a more uh, intrinsic part of a settlement that we actually keep the KYC back to the bank or even to MasterCard. That's what we're working with. So the clients will be not only have confidence in working with us, we don't actually keep the cash in our system. We always we trade and we actually uh, provide that service platform to them. Who would need the solution? Who would be the end user of the solution? Uh, basically everyone because the way TMP, which I say is the, the original plan was to have an ecosystem. Uh, not like everybody will pay the ecosystem. We believe that in the next 8 to 10 years, we will be actually going into uh, a digital barter. So in order to do digital barter, the, the most important is not what you have, the what currency or what market you are going to uh, prepare. We, are going to pre we have prepared the whole platform infrastructure in such a way we can settle anything from phone bill, from electricity, from uh, tokens, uh, from fiat. And also now we have uh, recently we even have also time. Time can also be also uh, it be been part of a settlement. Like for instance, uh, the time that you need to take in a hotel to a time that you need to even have a have a, a block into uh, because when you, once the time passes, there, there's nothing you can do. So, but you can block the time using our technology to do. That. Going into more details, what are the core functions of the mobile world app? The mobile wallet app itself initially uh, started, what was to do is to have a front-end tools and these are actually targeted at uh, 5% of the uh, what we call the 80s, 90s and the 00s. Both these are people who actually back in uh, the days, maybe about 10, 20 years ago, we were telling them go and play a PlayStation, go and have a, a Nintendo, but we realized that these are the, the current uh, trend that actually has this uh, uh, client base we actually attracted to this mobile app but at the same time we also have identified other uh, the 95 percent that we actually develop new tools for them other than the mobile apps now what is the pricing strategy campaign implements Tempe actually uh, works on three uh, basic basic uh, uh, revenue or pricing structure we actually uh, helping the client actually uh, does settlement in all countries, all borders, and uh, in any uh, what we call any tokenized, any uh, digital assets. But, so, of course, once on the current pricing structure, we prefer slightly higher than what we have in the market. But the client base that we have currently, they set up, uh, they are more in the gaming, they are more in the crypto trading, they are more in the multi-level, and they are more in the uh, what we call 
high gain, high risk trading. So they, they won't mind paying the high fees. Currently, maybe for the normal household owner, our fees are slightly higher, but because we actually uh, uh, create a premium for them to make sure that the service is well protected. And because we are just a new, uh, could say a new startup, so we want to concentrate in the sector that is most lucrative to us.